Shalom, my name is Rabbi Sean Zevit. I'm the Director of Congregational Services and Tikkun Olam, Social Justice for the Jewish Reconstructionist Federation. I'm delighted to make this video on behalf of our partnership with Jewcology and address the question that's been posed to me today, what do I think are some of the most challenging aspects to changing our attitudes, our behaviors, our practices to embrace more of a sustainable Jewish life, a sustainable life on this planet in general. Um, one thing that I'm, I'm grateful for in terms of our movement, the Reconstructionist movement, is back in 1990, we created a resolution for our congregations on environmental practice. And since 2005, we've had the Sustainable Synagogue Initiative, uh, which has done a lot of work in trying to raise green consciousness in our community and put together Jewish practice uh, along with greening our synagogues, uh, creating more sustainable and environmental buildings, and so on. Even though uh, we've taken a lot of strides in that area, and even though the Jewish community at large in the United States and in North America has uh, been working more collaboratively through the Green Chevra and various uh, cooperative sustainability initiatives, I think we're still challenged on the everyday practice. To some degree, we change our behavior most when we feel most pushed into it. And while we've taken strides in building the buildings, uh, in many ways in green fashion, whether from scratch or retrofitting, I'm reminded of Shmot, of Exodus chapter 25, Build me a sanctuary that I will dwell amongst them. So in a sense, even as we tackle change with our buildings, amongst us as people, as Jews, and interconnection with the larger community of which we are a part, and us being part of nature, as opposed to going to nature, part of that change is to realize that we are of nature. And I think that's still a place that challenges us, as well as the day-to-day -day behaviors, and aligning our Jewish practices with the type of uh, uh, food we buy, with fair labor practices, whole variety of issues of economic, political, social, environmental, and spiritual consequence. So I think that part of the next phase for us as we are challenged by this change is not only to do the change in one compartmentalized area, whether it's the building that we're in, whether we rent or own, or whether it's a particular Jewish practice inside that building and not related to the building, but it's to really do a holistic uh, overview of our, the way we are um, acting in the world, as well as what we're doing within the Jewish community and outside the Jewish community, wherever we go our work workplaces, can we take our Jewish views on spirituality and environmental and ecological sensibility and bring them wherever we go. So that's part of the change and the challenge that we're in and I'm delighted that uh, Jewcology has taken this on and given so many of us the opportunity to start sharing some of our viewpoints on this. For further resources you can go to jrf.org slash climate. I wish you all the best. Many brachot and bahatzlacha. Much success in our shared endeavor. Shalom.